because I went and videotaped my property and let them know that it was an unlawful. They told my motorcycle from where I live at. I stayed there. No history of 17, you know, is and now they're. And me because I walked away with officer. He tried to roll. He stopped me, and I said I haven't did anything. I let him pat me down. Then I told him I said, look, man, I haven't. Anything. I'm continuing on my way because I got to raise money. They talking about they want 150 dollars for something that's already mine. God, I need my property that belongs to me, right? I went in the hole like 500 dollars to get that, right? I need that, and this Christ. kind of thing is that happen all the time. I'm explaining to him that they called the police on me. I wasn't hostile. <clears throat> I was not asked out. They walked up. He, I'm being questioned right now. He, uh, he, I told him that I represent Black Lord for Justice. You know what I'm saying? He's here, right here. He's listening. I got the video camera on. I'm not trying to get arrested. I just. He tries to reprise his five thirty. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh. Sir. Uh, yeah. No, I don't. I don't. I don't believe so. That's. I think that's what. Uh, what's going on now? I don't think so. Wait, what's going? You're not ten six. Nah, I don't think so. Forty two Dunker. Keep your hands. Are we done? I don't know. No, we're not done. Okay. Yeah, I'm being, I'm being held, man. I'm being stopped. I'm being held. You're, be, you're being stopped until I figure out what's going on. With what? With, with, with what? Well, first of all, I don't think you gave me a correct name. Well, that's it. I gave you. I got. I got identification. That's my legal name. John Shabazz. Yes. Is your legal name? Yes, it is. Let me. Let me see the identification. I'm gonna give you some identification. My driver's license. Hello? Uh, he's coming here in a second. Hey, uh, I don't know what... I'm gonna have to, yeah, uh, I don't busy. wanna keep you too long, Doc, man. I just, uh, I just wanted to let you know about yeah. that, right? That, that when, I, when I'm going through. Uh, I don't know yet. Uh, this guy's yes, giving me this name. I guess yes, he's got a driver's license okay. with the name on it, but, uh, I've been told otherwise. Did you change your name recently? No, as a matter of fact, I hadn't I hadn't changed my name recently. But that's a legitimate that's me. Right, yeah, I'm trying. He told you I'm somebody I don't know. else. I don't know. Nah, nah. I seen him give you a note with and it, and it had a name on it that he said he said I was somebody else. You know, um, I got to tell you this, right? I haven't done anything in the way I'm being treated. It's, it's just additional evidence, right? In, in terms of, because I know I haven't done anything, but to be treated like this, it's additional you're evidence. You're not being treated poorly. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, yes, I oh, am. No, you're not. Yes, I am, sir. I'm you because I got a complaint down at Doug's Towing, and I'm I had trying to figure out what's going on. I hadn't done anything, right? Yeah. All I did, my property, they took my property down here at Doug's Towing, and what I did is I went and brought my video camera out and videotaped the fact yeah. that I was being mistreated. But, then when the fact, they, but when they called I the police up, on me. To you, 
I didn't act hostile towards you. I didn't act hot. Did I act hostile towards no, you? Tell the truth. You walked away. Okay. You walked away from me when I was telling you. But I hadn't did anything. I hadn't did anything. That doesn't matter. I was trying to talk to you. Okay. It's called obstructing. That's revoked for John Shabazz. 10 4 is it clear 29. Sir, can I have my license back so I can go raise the money for my vehicle, please? Yeah. Now I'm going to call Attorney Shabazz, and I'm going to tell him everything. Well, you you have a good but, day, but, sir. But, John, listen up. Listen yes, sir, up. please have, I, don't, I just want to Don't go back down to Doug's towing because you're going to get trespassing charges. All right? I'm with, if I come with the money. If you come with the money, call. And an attorney. Call, well, don't even come with an attorney. Just call us. We'll go down there and make sure it stays civil. All right? The other thing is, don't go down there without calling 911 first, and just let a, a, a cop go with you. Right? Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna call Attorney Shabazz. I'm going. I'm, I'm out of here. I'm gonna call Attorney Shabazz. The other thing is, when a policeman tells you to stop, you need to stop. Right? Okay. Well, I feel threatened. I feel intimidated. But I'm gonna. Can I please leave? I want to be able to leave, sir. Yeah, I'll, you can leave. You're thank you again. Thank you very much, sir. I feel intimidated. Put this but after I left, I videotaped where the car, where the vehicle was at, right? And after I left, they called the police on me, the towing truck company, and the police stopped me, wanted to check me, said I said I was hostile and everything. And that's so, harassment. So I called, so I called him. I told him I was a representative of Black Lawyers for Justice. I called Attorney Malik right there on the spot, and and the, and the, and the cop sit there and listen, right? He tried to he tried to hit me off with obstruction of justice, tried to intimidate me, cause. I said, look, I ain't did anything. Why I gotta stop? I ain't did nothing. You know you what I'm saying? Me. That's harassment. That's man. harassment. That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't even hold a conversation with him. That's right. You ain't supposed to. He tried to. Talk to your lawyer. Because, and that's, that's I'm under arrest. Because yeah. you know you can arrest me. For, that's arrest, right. Please arrest me so it's false. That's right. That's so, right. So I have nothing to say to you. I'm going to turn my that's back right. and walk. That's right. That's how you do it. And he tried to tell me because I wouldn't stop. He was going to cross me. I'm not stopping you. You don't have that's a warrant. Right. I'm not under arrest. That's, We're not that's, in my home. That's right. And if we were in my home, you do not have a warrant. That's right. That's the way I felt. Fuck them. That's them trying to terrorize me through their policing agencies and so forth, right? Corny. But uh, I got to go handle this, right? Because I got to get my shit, right? But I, but, and I will, yes, they stole your shit. Yeah, they stole my shit. And you better pursue you better them, motherfuckers, because if you don't, it takes some, it takes one person to stop them. That's why she doesn't do certain shit they don't do down there. I got to go to. Because I wouldn't have it. You yeah. need to stop them. You say it's you say it's Marjorie Gardens more so than towing trucks. It's Marjorie Gardens. They tell them to come and tow. They look out, tag them, look and see what's left there. They said, oh, he got his motorcycle back there. That's, that's Take right. Take his shit. That's, that's, what they that's what they did. That's what they so did. So let them pay for it. They no, call no. NCIC, which she works for, and tell them, excuse me, they basically stole my vehicle. Right. She did right. not place a sticker, green sticker, on like she's supposed to, because I live there. Right. She put a sticker on my car, and I had three days to get registered, and that's what that's all is. That's right. Get registered, and why shouldn't you be registered, and why haven't she sent you for it? Because you've been living there for how many years? It's been like a minute. So I just got you, this. I just so got. So you setting me up because she should have been registered your vehicle and, and I gave just, you a form. I just got. This and she vehicle. didn't give you the form. This is how much her bullshit. If, if it wasn't so much a law or a rule in that complex, then why the fuck did they try to dick Greg for not having a sticker from Margie Gordon? Yet they told your shit. Get uh -huh. the fuck out of here. Yeah, they just told my shit. Just. Was, they were supposed to put a sticker there. They but but, to put so yeah, what I'm doing is we we working on some other stuff, sister. I don't want to. This is the area that the vehicle was taken.
Keep it going. Are you guys getting ready to leave for the day? No, I uh, just want to leave. Oh, we're, okay. Hey, you know, um, I know I've talked to you guys about this before. Yeah, but I talked to you about it before, too. But you know what? I just purchased this thing, right? And I know I had so much time, and I was, that's what I was doing, right? It was getting it together. I got an attorney assisting me on this now, and they called the police they, because I came over you there. Had that motorcycle for a while. No, no, no. This is the, I just purchased this one. The other one got stolen. Remember, someone stole that. Remember? Oh, I knew it had gotten. It got, yeah, someone stole. stole it, right? And that's what I thought this was was a theft of my property, unlawful transfer of property. But here's what I want to tell you, uh, uh, Brenda, real quickly, is I know I got three days to be able to get that. I had planned on getting that one right with you guys with the before the parking permit that's an unlawful transfer of my property i just got so much time it's a whole different insurance card and driver i got so much time though i got all that stuff i got Did all that you come i got tell all... us anything no in the morning in the morning that's only that was only that was the first time it was ever there no the guys have seen it for the last couple of days <clears throat> that was the first time it was ever there i got so much time according to i mean you got you got to provide me notice with that all i want they asking me like they you asking notice from when you move. They in. asking like hundred and fifty dollars for that, right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out and do that, but I'm I'm keeping everything a record of everything so I can tell the attorney of these things, right? Mm -hmm. Because I'm I'm classifying it as I'm an Aboriginal I'm an original Aboriginal person, okay? okay? I don't know if you know you don't know what that means, right? I'm an Aboriginal. But I'm an original Aboriginal. Okay. You don't know what that means, do you? Not for sure, but I have an idea. But if you're dealing with land and estate in terms of trust the ancient people have an aboriginal title and i'm i'm not afraid to be able to tell you that right i'm just utilizing the supreme law which is not circumvented by regulatory administrative provisions and i say that with an intelligent way you because i represent black lawyers for private, private property however i live here the context the of Regulation that's, just like that's a regulation that circumvents the supreme right in your no, it doesn't. the exception to that is that you can provide that you that you get a parking permit you got so much time to get when a parking you permit first moved in here it's, it's a your it's, it's a new vehicle it's a new vehicle i got so much time i just got it you have to come so you got us. that's what i was going to do Immediately. you took my stuff before i could even do it i got it that night Look, look, all I want to do is document things properly because I'm going I'm to have to, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to have to get my stuff back, right? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so I'm documenting things because I'm going to have to go above y'all's head on this one with all due respect. All right. You know what I'm saying? With all due respect. I almost consider it as a, actually it's a theft of my property. And there's been several times my property has been, it's a, it's a preclusion of the supreme law. That's exactly what it is. Like I said, this is private property. Private property. What does private property mean? It's not owned by. It doesn't preclude. It doesn't. You live here. But you, you can't. All, you can't summarily lease. dismiss my you livelihood. Signed a lease. But that doesn't mean that you can summarily you dismiss my livelihood. By those rules and regulations. Again. <clears throat> and you are it no different mean, than anybody else that lives here. I've been treated differently because he's seen me and he knew it was me and he got a racial thing with me. I know who exactly who it is. He got a racial thing with me. I don't know who I seen his name. About. Well, I seen his name was Robert McCorkle because I went down there with my video camera. I got it all on tape. Whoever that is, Robert McCorkle. But and he, he was, does have a racial he thing. He told to do that. That's his job. Yeah, well, he got, well, that's his job, right? Well, that's what you said. I'm saying it was a usurpation of the supreme law of the land of my livelihood, which petty rules and regulations do not re usurp. Well, they not might for not mean anything to you, but they do to us. But I'm not saying petty rules and regulations. I'm talking about administrative rules and regulations. Don't usurp the supreme law of the land. You don't want to hear that. That's pathological. And I haven't, I haven't been disrespectful either. I've been very polite. You Considering the fact that my property was stolen from where I live. Which is a denial of my livelihood. That's a denial of my livelihood. Just thrown away. Stolen. Not the first person to be towed from here, and you probably won't be the last. But hold on, hold on, hold on. You say it's some. You say it's just summarily. We do that to everybody. 
but it's more to it than that. they don't abide, yeah. The rules also say that you put a note on somebody's car and give them an opportunity. July right? the 12th. Right? July 12th. It's a new vehicle. Everybody got to know this. It's a new vehicle. I was About going to do that. changing to the orange stickers. When you moved in, you got to notice that if you have a vehicle on this property, you are to bring all the proper information mm -hmm. so that you can have a sticker because you okay. live here. That's what I was going to do. And you've never I've done that. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. You've given me those passes and so forth. Why do you think I would get a new vehicle? You did it one time because I I've, still have the I've always done that. And I gave you my registration. And you brought me a expired registration. I gave you my registration. No insurance card. My insurance. When I first no. moved in here, no. if you yeah. check it, you have my registration, my insurance card. I know card, what I got. Trust and me. It's still, don't you still get it? Yeah. Registration, insurance Just card. Just registration. And, and driver. You got a driver's license, nope. too. You were supposed to bring I me. gave you a driver's license. I got a driver's license on me right now. Let me. See, these are the kind of things that are used as a pretext. Now, I'll that are look used. about the driver's license because when you then when we first did birth certificate, social security card, and ID, uh -huh. I'm not sure if it was. I gave you all of that. See, see that's that what you, I have. But that's when what, we did the car, uh -huh. the van that you had, you bought a registration, and I believe. I had all that, insurance and everything. No, no insurance card. Yes, I did. No, there was no insurance card. You because, were supposed to bring me one because I have the paperwork. Uh -huh. But, you got, but you got all that I'll stuff. I'll look it up. And see, the, just to the, just the, the steal somebody's property, property like that, right? And then it creates a hazardous environment, right? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to handle what i got to handle because I know I see that you feel like you're justified in doing this. Like you feel like you, it's you're justified. It's part of my job. It's part of my job. And you know, the kill is part of your, your job. Have you ever killed... Killed. Yeah, because I consider that to me, I, never I consider that to be a hate crime to me. Uh, Taking my car like that. I don't hate effect, you, John. I that, don't hate nobody here. That, to me, that's a, to, as far as I'm concerned, that's a hate crime. Well, you took away my life. something personal. Uh, it you has right nothing take to a, do with I got to take it personal. It has to do with the fact that it's my I job. I consider that to be a hate crime. It's my job. I consider it to be a hate crime. You, 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 you put these folks on me and you implemented white supremacy on me, stole my car, no, make I'm me sorry pay. I see it that way, but like that, I said, that's it's what it part is. of my job. So. Part of your job is to implement white supremacy tactics. It has nothing to do with your color, John. No, it has to do with... Because you, it's you, done you, to anybody that doesn't abide. But be, because I'm taking it the way I am, because it's white supremacy. Well, you, if you choose to take it that way, that's up to you, I guess. All right. God wanted to tell you to your face what it was. Okay. You know what I mean? Because you probably don't hear it too often. And you need to hear it more often. Not, not that it would make a difference because those people that practice that are pathological. If they can do it without hurt or feeling. Choke off the whole people without hurt or feeling. race has never bothered me my whole hmm. life. I know people that are colorblind I can say that after if you're running everything, you didn't stole everything, you can say I that. I don't care who you are, where I, you came I know from, you don't. I know you or don't. anything. You are a man just mm -hmm. like any other man out mm -hmm. here. I'm a woman just like any other woman out here. God yeah. created us all. So I, I don't see you as any different. That's questionable because acts of, when you're talking about acts of violence against people, if you uh, take my vehicle away, my livelihood away, that's an act of violence. And on that, on that, I got, that's an act of violence. That's a hate crime as far as I'm concerned. Well, I don't see it that way. Well, you, you, know. you think about it, let it marinate. And you, you think about it, let, let it marinate, okay? It's not done because I hate you. Don't no, no, silly. it's done because you're pathological. It's par part of my job. And that makes you pathological. Well, you if you don't know what pathological problem. means, I want you to go look it up because it means to be able to, to hurt and kill without feeling. You can do it without hurt. It doesn't matter. I did it before, I can do it again. And see, I'm here to help heal you. When incidents like this come up, right, because of my background and my training, I'm here to help heal you, to teach you how to be human and stop being pathological. I'm activist, Miss Amy Parks.
as a tribute and a, and a favor to my friend and to all of you. Most of you all have seen me or know me. All don't know me. My name is Amy Parks. And I'm a warrior, yeah. I'm in the retirement. I'm coming out. And I've been around for a while. Not only have I worked in the Fairmont Morgantown area, I have worked all, all over the state of West Virginia, traveled national and international. I was one of the 50 who was, uh, when they had our hostages in Iran, I was one of the 50 who went to Iran and had a chance to uh, negotiate with the uh, Iranian uh, uh, committee over there. So that was my international travel, and that was a very exciting and a very educational uh, trip. I'd like to also tell you, I am a mother of uh, six children. Some of you in this room know them very well. And um, I am, uh, have lived in Fairmont most of my life, and I live in a community called Chesapeake. I also uh, am a church member. My church is at Welcome Baptist. And I have worked on things like, uh, national things like, I, I had a, I, we had our own organization, which was the Welfare Rights Organization. And anybody know when you're on the committee, sometimes you have arms and legs. And you grow, and you go here, and you go there, and you go to this committee. So I have worked legal service. I, I have worked welfare, legal service, health, and just about name them all, including civil rights and unemployment and anything to go along with. Now that's ain't. I and I have been. Uh, I haven't done anything actively because I went into retirement. I was out there for a long time, trying to help anybody that could. Not only black, <coughs> white, and have had a few Hispanics. And, and, it, and the story goes on. But internationally and nationally, I was able to go to the White House when Andy Young was there. I remember sitting in his chair. And so, you know, the problems aren't new. The problems that we have now, they are not new. We just got our works to do all over again. And when I say about works, we're going to have to start in the trenches and we got all of it to do all over again. My, my, my work, my, uh, uh, the material I have put together is not to offend, uh, uh, offend anyone in the room, but fact is fact, and real is real, and statistics talk. Right. So that's where we are today. There's nothing new in the world. It just makes a circle. It just makes a circle. We just keep going around and around and around. But I want everybody to know in this room. We as black people, and this is what this is about, this is a black unity day. Right. Now, I don't want nobody to get offended in here, because when you got a cause, you got a cause, and you work towards your cause. Because you know if you put uh, uh, anything in there of some kind, you get, well, we got a tendency to get finished. <laughs> I have a white daughter-in-law, I have a white grandchild, and you won't have to go too far back to get my grandparents, which is a white family over there. But I'm a black activist. Uh -huh. I'm a black activist through and through. Anybody know me? I am black. I was born black. My issues are black. Right. First. All right. Now, I know how to sit down with anybody. <laughs> you got to be polite to anybody. Okay? If they do the respect, you got to give them their respect. Okay? Now, we know we got families. We're growing in West Virginia. But let me tell you, at whose expense you're growing. Okay? Mm -hmm. There's nothing new about West Virginia to me. I have been over West Virginia. The issues now are returning. They're benign. A lot of them say, well, you know I'm not prejudiced. But let me tell you, those hill runners that I used to know and that were before me, they're all gone. Now, who carrying it on? They used to say, oh, that boy from the hills. Them boys up in the hills starting all our trouble. You know, they're the ones. Not so. Those old farmers is born, and those other people that give us our problem have gave, given us our problem, because I am a West Virginian. I am a West Virginian. So being able to travel around the state and knowing that the people that made, uh, made up our government made the laws of West Virginia, 
it, those people are traveling, they're dead, and they're going on. Now, who's caring on the struggle? You get people coming from out of uh, uh, other, other states. They come into our state. They didn't do it in their state. But when they came into our state of West Virginia, guess what? They adopted the same thing that these people here in West Virginia had going on. The old ones now. I want you young people to wake up. The ones that can understand, understand what I'm saying. It has not always been like it is now. You got a programming going on now that there's no racism in West Virginia. That is not so. First, we had to go around the state to prove that there was <coughs> black people in our state. They was going around town. Ain't nobody black, no black people in West Virginia. Come on now. Anybody know history? As soon as you say West, West Virginia, oh, they think we're on the west side of Virginia. There's two different states. And that's the first thing you have to know. Who am I? I am a West Virginian. If you got to be here, you got to know the facts of West Virginia. They don't change. Some things are just benign. We have people coming back into our state now. But they're not the cause. But remember, when they come back, we have to educate those people on who we are. If we lay down and we take what they got to offer, then we, we, we did it ourselves. So I'm going to bear in mind, I'm going to give you a little statistics, but I don't want you to get bored behind, because sometimes when you're giving out statistics, people got a way of kind of, you know, want to get stuck and don't want to listen. But the reason we have problems today is because we don't want to listen. Now, our job is not us. Our job is see these little people in this room, and I hope they hear what I'm saying. First, they need to know they're West Virginia and who they are. Whether they be black or white, yellow or red, they are West Virginia. Now, don't you like the uh, people come over here and any y'all in the city, you know, you get on the bus, you can't understand nothing that these two people say. You know why? Because they talk in their own language. But we're West Virginians. So we got to learn the lingo of West Virginia and who we are. We are somebody. We might be hill runners, we might be the hillbillies, we might be, but we still West Virginia.